Um, so number one says, um, Nyman Pick disease is a rare genetic disease inherited in an autosomal recessive fashion. The non-disease allele is D, or dominant D, while the Nyman Pick disease allele is recessive D. Suppose that the Nyman Pick disease affects one out of 150,000 individuals in a certain population. In all cases, parts A through D, please indicate your answer to four decimal places. So A is asking for the frequency of the recessive D allele. Um, B is asking for the dominant D allele, um, the frequency of the homozygous um, dominant allele genotype. And then D is asking for what is the frequency of the heterozygous D genotype in the population. So we know that um, Q squared is the, okay, sorry, the allele frequency is for whatever for like Q, so the, the recessive is the one over 150,000, which is what we were given. And so we just basically, because that's equal to Q squared, so with this we just need to make sure that it's Q squared and get rid of the square. So it's going to be 6.6667 times 10 to the negative 6, but I didn't want to write a whole bunch of zeros. Um, and then you take the square root of that to get rid of the square here, and then it gives you 2.5820 times 10 to the negative third, and that is the frequency of recessive D, um, which would also be in the, the terms um, that's used for finding these in the um, weird things are the, this would be also considered as Q. Um, for B, because we're looking for the dominant um, allele, we know that it's so all of the alleles together is equal to 1. So it's p squared plus 2pq plus q squared equals 1. <coughs> um, so we know that we're going to do 1 minus whatever we did here, whatever we got here. And I actually did this wrong. <laughs> so it would be 1 minus this answer, which is 2.5820 times 10 to the negative third. Which will be um, <laughs> 1 minus 2 point. Follow along on your calculators. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Sister Mayo. At least you caught it now. <laughs> I know that would have been really bad. Um, which is two, which is point nine nine seven four one eight. And I'm sorry. So, point. Nine, nine, seven, four. Yeah, because we just need the four, so. That is for the frequency of the dominant D, and I'm sorry about that, because um, I forgot to do the square root before. Um, then we have, so we want to find the frequency of homozygous recessive. So because this is the, um, dang it, I did that one wrong too. Dad come. Okay, so because we know the frequency of just one dominant allele, um, we just have to square that so that we get two. That's math, kids. Um, which <laughs> would be point, dad gum, I messed this whole thing up. Point, um, 0 0.9948. For the frequency of homozygous dominant um, allele. And then, in order to find the heterozygous D, we then want to do, because this is your, again, this is your equation, so p squared plus 2pq plus q squared. So we've already found the p squared, which is this, the 0 0.9948. Um, we need to figure out. Um, the um, the 2pq so we already have this in here so again don't don't look at this <laughs> but this is right um so it would be that times 2.5820 times 10 to the negative third so again we're going to take the the uh, p squared right or like the p sorry no, shoot. It's this one. No. Yeah. 
right? It's this one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, so it's 0 0.9974, so hold on. It's up. been a long day. <laughs> it's been a heck of a couple weeks. I'm so done. 0 0.9974 times this, which is the frequency of Q. So 2.5820 times... I'm sorry, I'm waiting on time. Um, 2.5820 times 10 to the minus 3rd. Okay, and then, so that comes to 0 0.002575, but then you need to multiply it by 2. So, your new one is now 0 0.005150. So, not that much. 5 to two. <laughs> you would really want to meet it the one here. So, 5 2. That's number one. <laughs> I apologize. For number two, I wrote them down on the board because I thought that I didn't have any more information to go over, but it turns out I just messed everything up. So, number two for fill in the blanks it says the term in the Hardy Weinberg. Um, equation that represents the frequency of the IB allele. Um, so I, I think that I understand what we're asking for the term, but I just said it was Q um, for the same thing, like P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared. Um, while the, so it was Q. While the term in the Hardy-Weinberg equation that represents the frequency of the IAIB genotype is 2PQ. B, um, DiGeorge syndrome is an autosomal dominant disorder that affects 1 in 4,000 individuals in the human population. The 1 in 4,000 individuals in the population affected by DiGeorge syndrome is represented by the allele, um, the capital D, so your dominant D frequency. Um, this question, see, this question refers to the situation presented in part B, the 3,999 in 4,000, so the one that wasn't individuals, is a population unaffected by DiGeorge syndrome is represented by the allele D, small d, frequency terms in the Hardy-Weinberg syndrome equation. So, small d allele. Um, the type of plumage found in mallard ducks is determined by three alleles at a single locus. M, capital R, that was me, produces restricted plumage. M produces ma mallard plumage, and MD, recessive, produces dusky plumage. The restricted phenotype is dominant over mallard and dusky. Mallard is dominant over dusky. Um, so it's M, R is <laughs> greater than M. So MR is dominant, M is in the middle, and then MD um, is recessive. So we know that the R term in the Hardy-Weinberg equation best represents the frequency of the MD little. Um, E, this, this question refers to the situation presented in D. The P terms in the Hardy-Weinberg equation can represent the genotype of a duck with restricted plumage. F, the human disease sickle cell anemia is the result of a SNP. G, um, monomorphism is a term that describes a trait that produces a single phenotype in 99% or more of the population. H, uh, a deem. Um, is another name for a local population. I, the MHC genes in humans are highly polymorphic. And here it is right here. And then, number three. Hopefully I didn't mess this part up too. Okay, mm -hmm. so this says Marfan syndrome is an autosomal dominant disorder. For the purposes of this problem, we will assume, assume that Marfan syndrome affects one in 6,000 individuals in the human population. Um, what is the frequency of the non-disease allele in the human population? So for A, you actually had to find B, which is the Marfan syndrome first. So I ended up doing that. So B is actually first. So again, we have our P squared. And we know it's 1 over 6,000. Um, in order to get rid of the square, we take the square root of, the, of this number, which is 1.6667 times 10 to the negative fourth. And then that gives us... Um, <coughs> Point zero one two nine one zero um, for Marfan syndrome. So those are the the percent of the population that's going to have Marfan syndrome. Then you take one minus that frequency. So one minus one point two nine one zero times ten to the negative second, and that's going to give you the frequency of the non-disease, which was nine point eight seven zero nine times ten to the negative first. So point zero nine eight seven one. Um, 
C was asking for the heterozygous, which again we know is the 2PQ. So 2 times your P, and then, um, no, it's your Q, I'm sorry. So 2 times PQ, it's just in there. Um, and that's going to equal to 2.5487 times 10 to the negative second. D was asking for the frequency of a population where you have 5 million individuals in it. So you just take this, he this frequency for the heterozygous, which we already found in C, then you multiply it by the 5 million, and that comes to 127,430 individuals.